Hey guys, welcome to Blenny Allures. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to draft and to cut a princess bustier. It is so easy. If you are new to my channel, if you have just visited my channel for the very first time, you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. If you have been watching my video and you have not subscribe please go and click on the subscribe button it is totally free please go and click on the subscribe button and do give this video a thumbs up and also share the link with other people by sharing sharing it on your social media platform drop your comment in the comment section i'll be there to read your comments please watch this video to the end every part is very important so watch the video to the end follow me on instagram blenny allures so i went ahead to draw the line this first line is the shoulder line this second line here is the boss point and the third line this line is the under boss line and that is the waist line so i went ahead to draw those line down you can go ahead and do yours now so what we're going to do first is to draw at the neckline so i'm going to go ahead and draw the neckline so for the neckline we are going to use three and a half i'm going to take three and a half for the neckline so i went ahead to mark the 3.5 3.5 inches at three and a half inches so the shoulder is seven and a half after marking the shoulder, you go one inch down for the shoulder slope. I went ahead to connect it to the neckline. So that's for that. So we're just going to measure the armhole, take the measure, uh, measurement of the armhole, which I did. So automatically, that's the chest line. So I'll go ahead and indicate the line by drawing it. So after uh, drawing the line, I'll go ahead and mark the shoulder measurement there also. That was automatically, that's a chest line. So I'll go ahead and connect it with the shoulder line. I'll connect it to it. So that's what I'm going to do now. So after connecting it, so we'll go to the uh, middle point. We are nipple to nipple measurement. You divide it by two. That if it is nine inch divided by two, then you add... Um, quarter an inch for sewing allowance so i'll do that for the bust point down to the chest line and i will connect it so i just measured four and quarter because the bust and the nipple to nipple was eight inches divided by two making it four i remember our fabric is on fold into two so our paper is on is folded into two so at the under bust point there i measured two inches it all depends on your client. Your client can be one and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and connect it to meet the 11 inches I measured from the shoulder to the uh, boss, under the boss point. So at the shoulder, at the arm, oh, I'm going to divide the arm oh, from, not from the slant, but from the very point of the arm oh the shoulder line sorry to say i'm going to divide the ammo measurement by two and i'm going to go ahead and mark it so after doing that i'm going to mark one inch upward from that point that i just marked one inch upward one inch downward making it two inch so it is just that uh, first uh, point that i just marked that by set the two inches making it one inch up one inch down so i'll go ahead and connect the from the um boss point i'm going to connect it that is the one inch below the boss point i'm going to connect it to the first the uh, first one uh, one inch you can see just watch the video you understand what i'm saying so from that one inch i'm going to measure it down to meet the boss point there and I'm going to connect it with, with the 11 inch I measured the other time uh, up below the um, boss point. That is one inch below the boss point. So the next thing I'm going to connect that one inch that I measured at the upper part. Just watch the video. You understand what I'm saying. I'm going to connect it to that nipple to nipple point at the chest line. That is... Um, 
quarter inch just below the chest line, quarter inch below the chest line. So I'm going to connect it there, and that will be for that. So you go ahead and do yours. So this space there is just two inches. So you can go ahead and curve this part of it that I'm just um, highlighting so that it will not be pointed because the boss shape is not really pointed. You can go ahead and use um, maybe cover of any container to shape in to make that place a little bit round and not pointed. So as shown in the video, you can see that I just want to demonstrate it so you can see. So the place will look a little bit round because the boss is not pointed. So that would be that for that other part. So for the under, for the, that's the waistline. If your client um, waist, yeah, that's the stomach is big, you can just measure one inch. But if the stomach is flat, go ahead and measure the two inch you took from the under boss down. So I'll go ahead and connect these two inches together. On that bus to meet the waistline so also i'm just going to show you how and uh, maybe your, if your client's stomach is big you can see how i slanted it so you can do that so it will accommodate the stomach okay so that's for that it all depends on your client maybe you want to do it for a pregnant woman this will be better just tip one inch and slant it the way i did there so if you saw, if you just cut it like this, it will be, it will not, this um, other side will not be enough. So you're going to add down two inch that you removed the other time to this space, as I did in the video. Then you connect it two inch. Remember, it's two inch you removed the other time, one inch up, one inch down. So we are going to bring the one inch, a uh, two inch back to this point. So to measure our uh, uh, both circumference divided by four, so you take the original boss measurement, which is, okay, for example, this is 10 inches now. So I'm going to take what I, this space here is one quarter an inch. I'm going to put it here. Okay, I'm going to put it here so that it will be the accurate measurement. Then I'm going to add my sewing allowance, which is one inch. So I'm going to connect it. All right, so I'll go do that to the underboss also. I'm going to go ahead, measure the underboss, take the underboss measurement divided by four. Then I'll go ahead and remove the two, add the two inches I removed the other time. I'm going to add it to it. Then my sewing allowance also. So I'll do that to the, so the same, um, method applies to the waistline also so you go add your um, sewing allowance then I'm going to connect the waist to the bust so I'll do that and also draw out my sewing allowance so at this point where the two inches it I'll just go ahead and connect it to meet the arm or can you see connect it to meet the arm or if you check where I connected it to the arm wall at that point there. It is where I originally measured my 10 inch. That's my boss measurement. That's where I I connected it to. That's the arm wall to meet that particular portion on the boss chest line. So I just want to show you how it is. So the original 10 inches, when I've not added the one I removed the other time. So that's why I'm going to connect it to meet there. So that would be basically all for the drafting. For the neckline, I, I love sewing my, joining my bust here before cutting at the neckline. But for those who cut at the neckline, this is it. You can take whatever neckline that you want to take and that would be that. So I'm going to cut the part that I shielded off. I'm going to cut at the part that are not necessary. You can see that it is ready up. Uh, Princess boss is ready. There's no way your client will wear this and your, your client breast or boss will be pressed. It's good, really going to push out if you know how to sew it very well. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please go and click on the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, please support my YouTube channel by subscribing and sharing the link with others. See you in our next tutorial. Bye.